What's up everyone, David here and we are back again today with another DC Talk episode. I had a subject in mind for a while now. As we've been getting news from Atlas, from Megaton in general, I've been thinking 2021 is going to be an amazing year for Atlas. Now for this video, I have two topics in mind. First, I want to talk about the upcoming releases from Atlas that we will or that we might get in 2021. And I also want to talk about the recent news that we got that gives us some type of hints towards what we should expect from 2021 and Atlas in general. I have a lot to say, so let's jump right in. So let's start by looking at the upcoming releases that we know for sure are coming 2021 by Atlas if there isn't any delays, of course. First up, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne HD Remaster. So we got the announcement for this game to be coming in 2021 in the West during uh, the first Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase where we got to see uh, how the game would look and with sound we've got the confirmation from voice acting and later down the line we got information about Dante coming as DLC and also other type of DLC like with def difficulty options stuff like that so definitely a cool release that we know is coming quarter first quarter of 2021 so it should come soon during the year great release this game came out initially in 2003 so it's a big deal to have this HD release in 2021 everyone's hyped i'm hyped it is a cool game to have in the first quarter of this amazing upcoming year now there's two things that we can speculate when it comes to this particular announcement of nocturne hd remaster it is that we have a port of an older megaton title and a mainline title of that so that is great news will we see other megaton games be ported to other systems or remastered simply that would be amazing as well we can always speculate i would hope that they decide to bring the raido kazunoha games those would be amazing those are the only games that are missing on the shelf right here i still need those physical copies they're too expensive can't get them unfortunately but i will at some point if atlas you're for whatever reason listening to this video give us those titles they're great the soundtracks are great that would be the remasters that I would want the most. But a bunch of other titles are amazing that they could remaster as well and bring to new systems. And speaking of new systems, of course the remaster is the first thing that I wanted to look at, but also the fact that we got two versions now for this particular port. We got a PlayStation 4 version, of course, and also a Nintendo Switch version, which is really cool. Will the games that we have on PS4 come to Switch? Will the Switch games that we have from Atlas come to PS4? I'm down for any of that. Great news. I hope we see more of those uh, multi-plat release from Atlas. Now, another title that we know is coming in 2021 is, of course, Shin Megami Tensei 5, the game that we're always talking about on the channel. So this is the mainline title in the Megami Tensei series. It was announced all the way back in January 2017 during the first Nintendo Switch press conference. So this is like my most anticipated title and it's been this title for a bunch of years already so for three years so i can't wait and i sure hope that we won't get a delay for this one the information that we have on the game is kind of small for now we've seen a few trailers a few teaser but i expect big things from this title in upcoming events like tokyo game show which is actually in a couple of weeks I think that we will probably see uh, a gameplay trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5 or at least get like some interviews or additional stuff, additional information on the game that we don't have already. I expect a lot of things in this actual year that is 2020 for this title. Of course we saw some sales report and we saw Sega say during their investors meeting that this game has a chance of being a first quarter title. I doubt it for two reasons actually. First of all is what I just described, it is that we don't have a lot of information and we're less than a year away from first quarter of 2021, so I don't feel like it is too likely, unfortunately. And also the fact that Nocturne Remaster comes out in quarter first quarter of 2021, so it feels unlikely to me, but hey, if it is quarter first quarter, that is amazing, that is great news, and I'll take it, no complaints. But for me, I think it is probably a holiday title, that would be my bet for now. So those are the two confirmed titles that we know are coming by Atlas in 2021. Now there's two other titles that I want to discuss. First of all, 
man, I, I don't know for how long I'll be talking about this game, but Persona 5 Scramble the Phantom Strikers. So this game was announced all the way back, I think it was like in December? Yeah, I think it was December 2019 already, so I think it's been a, yeah, it's been a while already. So this game came out in February of this year in Japan, and we have no news from Atlas West, no confirmation, nothing, nothing, nothing. That when will they announce the title to be coming to the West worldwide, uh, or when they will release the game, we don't know. I know that some people are still speculating a 2020 release. I don't know at this point, honestly. I don't feel like it is that likely since we're already in September. So maybe, I doubt it. I think it's probably a 2021 title. So another title to add to the list. Great game, sequel to Persona 5, which is their best selling title. So honestly, Atlas, they will bring this game. I'm sure, and I've always been saying that this title will be released in the West. I still think that's the case. I just don't know when exactly we'll get it, but I feel like it is a 2021 title at this point. Now, another title that I don't think will release in 2021, but I think we'll get a lot of cool information about in 2021 is Project Re Fantasy. So this game has been announced for a while now. We know nothing about this release or at least very little about this upcoming release from Atlas. So I expect news and trailers, teasers, interviews, anything about this title in 2021 and maybe a, even a release date, we might get that at, during the, the uh, close to the end of the year and probably like a 2022 title or something like that. So I don't know how close, I don't know where it is in development, but I really feel like this game has a shot of having a lot of appearances in 2021. If you don't know already, Atlas beginning of 2020, they gave New Year's wishes to their fans and they said to look forward to SMT5 and Project Re Fantasy News in 2020. Nothing has been confirmed, nothing has been said about Project Re Fantasy in 2020 yet and we're in September. I'm expecting information or a teaser or a trailer at Tokyo Game Show 2020. So. Look out for news on that, but I really do feel like 2021 is the year that will give us additional info on this upcoming release. Now, of, now the second segment of this video I wanted to discuss and I wanted to talk about the recent news that we had uh, that gives us hints toward what, what to expect from Alice in 2021. So I have th the first thing that I want to talk about is Sega and Atlas in general, where will they release their game in the future? What will they do as far as releases goes in the future? Will they do more ports? Will they bring more games to other systems? I feel like that has a chance of come, of, of being true in the end. So why? Okay, why? Persona 4 Golden released a f in June. So two months ago, Persona 4 Golden released on Steam and it sold amazingly. Like there was a bunch of copies that were sold. It broke record on Steam as well as like the most players active on a JRPG for I don't know how many years but it broke records it sells it sold a lot Atlas for whatever reason was surprised that the game sold well so will we see more ports will we see Persona 3 will we see a definitive edition of Persona 3 come to Steam it is very likely in my opinion will we see Persona 3 or Persona 4 Golden come to other system like the PlayStation 4 the PlayStation 5 or the Nintendo Switch in the future I feel like that's also very likely so they said they wanted to do more ports to steam great news the more players that can enjoy those amazing games the better in my opinion now switch is another topic like we don't necessarily have any type of direct confirmation that they will support more the switch in the future they already are doing a pretty good job in my opinion we've got catherine full body amazing port runs super well definitive edition of catherine We've got Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which is an underrated, amazing game, which I talked about on the channel as well, so I'll, I'll have the link in the corner of the screen if you guys want to check it out. Highly recommend this title as well. We'll get Nocturne, we'll get uh, SMT5, so I'm good, honestly, as a Nintendo fan, it is great. Uh, will they bring more titles? I feel like they should. I don't know if they will, but that would be cool. PlayStation 4, Persona 4 Golden, anything is cool at this point. Now, what we do know is that Sega has been saying for a few years and I've been I've confirmed that again recently that they want to go multi-platform they want to release their titles their big titles 
on multiple systems. We've had a recent interview with the director of Sacro Wars that said he wanted to port his game to other systems if possible or release new entries in the series on other systems like the Nintendo Switch for example. We've seen Yakuza series come to new systems like Yakuza Like a Dragon is coming out first on Xbox Series X when it comes to next gen. PS5 has to wait which sucks for me <laughs> but it's still good news to see that they're you know, expanding the market and they're showing their games to a broader audience. I'm always down for that because those games are amazing. So if they want to bring Sakura Rise, if they want to bring Persona, Shin Megami Tensei to different system, I've, I've always said put Shin Megami Tensei 5 on PlayStation 4, put Persona 5 Royal on Switch, mix, match, I don't care. Those games are amazing, people need to play them, so let's just skip exclusivity, especially for a studio like Atlas and Sega who are not in the best position when it comes to like the market of selling games necessarily like their their sales report are not always that great for the investment that the way that they're doing in their games versus the sales so I think it could help them but hey we will see I feel like this upcoming year of 2021 we might see more su more multi-platform support on other systems from sega and atlas and of course i do feel like they will bring more games on steam now another topic that i briefly talked about when i talked about nocturne hd remastered is that atlas and their stupid surveys that are not stupid anymore <laughs> it seems like they confirmed that um, the reason why we're getting Nocturne HD Remastered is because of the replies and the answers to their surveys. So, of course, they're sending out, again, they're always sending surveys out, so people are asking for ports of the Raido games, they're asking for ports of the Persona games, of the um, any type of games that are older Megaton titles, that people want though to play those games on newer hardware. I feel like Atlus might ha give a, a shot and release and port more games, especially if Nocturne is uh, doing well for them. The, the last little thing that I want to talk about is I think 2021 is the year where we will start to get news on Persona 6. And let me explain, it is soon, it is really soon. Let me explain why I think that. I know it is pretty soon, we're in 2020 and I'm expecting news from the next mainline installment in the Persona series. I'm not expecting gameplay, I'm not expecting anything too major, but I feel like we'll we'll start to hear like the, the, the developers and the, the team director talk about the development of Persona 6. We know that they are working on the game, but we haven't seen anything, which is okay, of course. There's a bunch of other titles to look forward to, but I think that we'll start to hear some new information. We might might even get a teaser at some point in 2021 for Persona 6. I know that a bunch of people would like that. For me personally, 2021 is already a jam-packed year, so I have a lot of games to look forward to. We talked about a bunch of them. If we get any news on Persona 6, I'm cool, and if we don't, I'm cool as well. So those were my thoughts, guys. I really do think like 2021 is going to be an amazing year for Atlas and for us Atlas fans. There's a bunch of games to look forward to. Hopefully, we'll get a Persona 5 scramble, the Phantom Strikers announcement soon for the West. Uh, hopefully, Shin Megami Tensei 5 keeps its 2021 release date. And I'm really excited for Tokyo Game Show 2020. Like it's in a couple of weeks. I'm sure we'll get cool announcements. I'll be streaming the event when it comes to Sega and Atlas. So if you want to stay up to date, guys, on anything mega. Persona Atlas, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, if you like the video, please give me your thumbs up. That really helps for uh, future content. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time.